this is a quick and easy way to create a store layout in Microsoft Excel. We are going to use a small format example, but it can be done for larger formats. Open a new sheet and go to View and then remove grid lines. Then define your scale. In our case, we used one pixel equals one centimeter. So 100 pixel will be one meter. Start creating columns that are one meter wide until you reach the length of your store. For example, here we have six meters, so that would be six columns. If the store is 6.5 meter, then just create an additional column with the width of 50 pixels, which is 0.5 meter. Now do the same with the rows until you reach the store width. Here we had four meters. So now we have square tiles and each tile represents one meter by one meter. Go ahead and give those tiles a light color. and then also give them a light border. Then give the entire store a darker outside border. So now we have the entire floor created, which is here six meter by four meter. Now start adding your walls. Go to Insert, Shapes, and choose the shape you want to use, and this will be the different display walls. Here you will use the same scale, which is 100 pixels equals 1 meter. So for example, if the wall is 2 meters wide, it should exactly align with two tiles of the store floor, and so on. Choose from the shapes and create a cash counter. And start creating the different fixtures on the shop floor. For example, here we added two gondolas. Instead of using the ready-made shapes, you can also use the draw option to create your own shapes. Now that you have all your walls and fixtures, you can also add customer flow if you want, so you can see how the store navigation will work. You can do this using insert and arrows. Now that you have your complete store layout, you can start mapping your floor plan by naming the different fixtures and walls with what you want to display on them. And every time you want to change your display and plan for it, you can go to the same file and edit those names.